Good morning, happy Monday to you. I hope you had a nice weekend. It's been a few days since I made a video for you. Um, I did get a couple of emails from kids, which I just love. Um, I saw Joanna who did her rainbow writing and then maybe mommy, maybe daddy, I don't know who drew many, many pictures of things that start with L so that she could cut those out and glue them on so that she made her L with marker and then right along next to the marker she's got all these great pictures of things that start with L. Things like leaf and ladder and lamp and lotus flower. Um, so many things. Lips. It was, it was really, really nice. Um, and also Nolan sent me in pictures. Nolan, um, he's got an L in the middle of his name. I don't know if you can hear it. Nolan. Um, and so he had a little L that probably spells out his name. That's why I thought he probably already had that nice looking little L. But he made L's out of Play-Doh and he made L's out of Legos and he made L's out of other toys too. He made lots and lots of L's. So I was really excited to see all those great pictures of um, kids making L's. I only got emails from two families this weekend, but maybe I'll get more today or this week. I love to get your emails. I love to get your videos. Um, and um, also, speaking of videos and emails, um, I want to get to FaceTime or Zoom with um, each family. I will probably send out a um, sign up genius for that. But um, I definitely want to get to talk to both kids and parents. It's basically our spring conferences, but um, I don't have as much to tell the parents since I haven't seen your kids in more than a month, which is such a shame. But you've been spending time with your kids and we can talk about that. So I'll be sending out the sign up genius and sometime during May, I want to talk with each family. Um, okay, let's pray. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for the weekend. Um, it's not that different from the week during our current lives, but um, over the weekend, probably mommies and daddies and big brothers and sisters worked less and there was a little more time to play. And on Sundays, I hope we're all coming together as families to do something to worship you. Maybe watch church on TV or on the computer. <sighs> thank you for the weekend and thank you for a new week. Bless our week ahead. Help us to love you more and more and more, Lord God. And help us to love the people around us better and better. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Let's see, I always debate about whether to leave my glasses on or take them off. Uh, I think I'll take them off. Um, so on Mondays, we start with guided play. We do not have a normal circle because we usually go right to library. Um, you know your library options as far as on the Heritage School Facebook page. Uh, Mr. Kevin reads some books, Miss Janice reads some books. There's the storytimeonline.net that um, has actors and actresses reading stories. Miss Pam also really wants to read you a story, and she said she would send me a video so I could send it out to you. I have not seen her video yet, but as soon as I get it, I will send it to you because Miss Pam misses you a lot, just like I do. Um, so that's library and then music. Miss um, Rebecca has been sending out videos. I don't have a new one for this week yet. But I will send that as soon as I get it. And I know she's got some songs on the Heritage School Facebook page. And of course, you can always listen to other good music with your family. Um, so, right now we'll still do some circle things because we have the time, don't we? Okay. Um, we usually start circle with prayer just like we just did. And then we practice our Bible verses. So here we go. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. 
Did you know you can be a friend to your brothers and sisters and to the grown-ups who are taking care of you? You can show them love at all times. It's not the same as friends at school or friends in the neighborhood, friends that you like to play with, friends you probably don't get to see right now, but you can still be loving and kind with Jesus' help, okay? In the beginning, in the beginning, God created God created the heavens and the earth, the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, 1, Genesis 1, 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Psalm 118, verse 1. For a child will be born to us, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For a child will be born to us, Isaiah 9, verse 6. And keep working on those fingers when you say 9. It's all your fingers except for one. And when you say six, it's all the fingers on one hand and only one on the other hand, okay? Um, but we were singing about the child who would be born to us. And who was that child? Jesus! And did Jesus stay a child? No. Jesus grew, grew, grew. Jesus grew, grew, grew. In body and in wisdom. Jesus grew, 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 Jesus grew, 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 in body and in wisdom. Luke 2, 52. Okay. We love because he first loved us. We love because he first loved us. We love, we love, we love because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3, 16. Okay, and now the new one for April. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Okay, and since it's the new one, we'll do it again. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Trust in God, trust also in Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 1. Okay, we did our prayer, our Bible verses. Jobs would be next, so you make sure you're helping out at home. And then we do calendar. Here's my calendar. Here you go. And uh, it's a weekend. I mean, it was a weekend, so we missed gluing on some days. So let's see. This one was Saturday. What happened on Saturday? I read a big, long book. I spent most of my day finishing up that book. And so I'm going to put Saturday on here. And then... Yesterday was Sunday, so here's the one for Sunday, and I'm going to put that one on right here, and now here's today. Let's see. I'm putting glue stick on. It's hard to do while I'm holding the calendar up for you. 
Okay, here's my calendar. Here's the one that means today. And I'll put it right there. Okay, so here's today. And I'm going to look up, 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 up for the day of the week. It starts with M. Mmm. Let's sing our days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, I told you yesterday was Sunday, so today is the one right next to it. It starts with M, Monday. Okay, today is Monday, and then we say our month. Here it is, it starts with A. Let's sing the months. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Did you catch it? There's that A word. January, February, March, and April, okay? So today is Monday, April, and now let's count our numbers. Here's the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then the numbers I started writing. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So all of those are in the teens. So you'll notice it starts with a one and then there's another number. And you say this number first. That's sort of silly, but that's the way it works. Um, so you say four, and then the one makes you say teen. Fourteen, five teen. Oh, no, we don't really say five teen. We say 15. Okay, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <gasps> this one's different. It starts with a two and then a zero. Do you know what comes after 19? Hmm. I want to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. When it starts with a zero, it's a twenty. And that's where we'll be all this week with numbers in the twenties. Okay, if we put it all together, today is Monday, April 20th. April 20th. And I changed this up here so it says 2020. So now it's right. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Sounds kind of fun to say April 20th, 2020. Lots of 20s. Okay, so we went over our calendar. We know that April is a month in the springtime. I hope you're enjoying the springtime. I love springtime. I was outside with my family a lot yesterday in the backyard. All of us jumped on the trampoline. The mommy and the daddy and the three kids all took turns. And we also had some friends who came by and some, sometimes they stand near the street and we stand on the other side of our yard or sit on our front porch so we can still talk to our friends even though we're staying far away from them so we can't share germs and get each other sick. So maybe you do that sometimes too. It was very nice. I had a very nice day yesterday in the beautiful spring weather. Warm weather, sunshine, flowers, birds singing. Those are all springtime things. It was wonderful. Today is not quite as warm as yesterday, but pretty warm and no rain. So I hope you go outside to play. Um, and now, like I said, our normal schedule would be guided play, circle, music, sorry, library, music, bathroom, snack, playground, and then we meet a new letter friend. That's one of the fun new things on Mondays. Let's see who I have for you today. And here she is. She's a girl. <laughs> Let me hold her up where you can see her well. See what you can notice about her. I just told you she's a girl, so we're going to call her her. Her hair's a little messy. I guess she's been, maybe she's been out in the rain. Let's see. When you look at her, you can notice some special things about her. I want to give you a chance to think about it. Hmm. She's got green hair and purple skin. 
big white eyes and no nose. A little smile that looks a lot like her letter, right? There's her letter. There's her little smile. She's wearing a red rain jacket and yellow rain boots. She's got this thing in her hands. I wonder if you know what it is. Hmm. Well, I wanted to point out some of the very, very special things about her. I wonder what you remember about the letters that wear a red shirt or a red dress or a red jacket and yellow shoes. Their letter is yellow and they have this little sunshine. So far we've met A, we've met E, we've met I, we've met O, and she's the last one like that. There are five. Five of these letters that have a red shirt or jacket or dress, yellow shoes of some kind, and this little yellow sunshine on them. Do you remember what we called them? They're called letter lights. They light the way to making words. Letter lights, and when you get bigger, your teachers will call them vowels. The real word for them is vowels, but it, the letter people like to call them letter lights. So she is letter light U. That's a U. Say U with me, U. And when I make the U, I start up at the starting corner, right by where the smiley face would be, and on her, that's where her letter light is. I go down, 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 curvy, 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 up, up, up. I don't have to pick up my finger at all. So sometimes I like to practice that in the air. Down, curve, up. And you know if we were at school, we'd try writing it on the carpet with our fingers so we could feel what it feels like. You can do that at home. And I feel it on her shirt and I can do it in the air. In a minute, we'll practice writing it. But that's how you make a U. And let's look at the lowercase one. The lowercase one looks very much the same. Down, curve, up. And then usually we go right back down again. Again, you don't pick up your finger or your crayon or whatever you're using to write. You start here, down, curve, up, and down again. That's why you see this little stem. But, you know, sometimes four-year-olds, when they're writing a letter like this, will go make the U, pick it up, and then put a little tail on it. And that's not right. I want you to go down, curve, up, and down. And sometimes you'll see it that people will make the big U the same way, across, up, and down. It helps it make a little more clear it, what, that it's a U and not a V. Can you see how it's a little bit like a V? If you don't make your V pointy, it could look a little like a U. Or if you don't make your U round enough on the bottom, it could look a little like a V. So sometimes people do the down again to make sure you know it's a U. You can see it both ways. Okay, let me make a U for you. Here I have some easel paper. I will use a yellow to make a smiley face to show you the starting corner. Here's the starting corner for the yellow smiley face. Maybe we'll give it some sunshine because it's a letter light. Okay, there's my letter light sunshine. And here I'm gonna write it with blue. So I'm gonna start right by the letter light. Go down, curve, uh oh, you don't see the whole thing and up again. So I did it with blue, and I also do it with red. Start by the letter light, down, curve, up. Okay, that's the letter U. You can practice lots and lots of ways this week. Now we haven't yet talked about what sound the letter U makes. Like all of the letter lights, it can make more than one sound. But its main sound is uh, uh, uh. Will you say it? Uh, uh, uh. Your mouth is wide open and you really make it from down here. Uh. I wonder if you can feel it in your neck. Uh. So now that you know her sound, I wonder if you know what this thing is. It's got a long handle 
A little curve here. She's holding it over her head. It's her umbrella. A, uh, a, uh, umbrella. And Miss Yu loves to sing a song about her umbrella because it's an unusual umbrella. And if you've seen Mary Poppins, maybe you know about what an unusual umbrella can do. It helps her go up, up, up. Her unusual umbrella helps her go up, up, up. She flies with it. My umbrella doesn't help me fly, and I don't think yours does either. But Miss Yu is a little bit like Mary Poppins, I guess. And her unusual umbrella helps her go up, up, up. And all of those words start with that uh sound. You can look up her song on YouTube. Letter people, Ms. You. Probably you could type in unusual umbrella, but I don't think you have to. Um, her song goes a little like this. I miss you. I like to go up, 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 but I can't go up, up anymore. My unusual umbrella stopped going up, up, up. I can't go up and up anymore. But guess what? If you listen to her song, she explains how she gets it all better. And at the end of the song, she is going up, up, up again with her unusual umbrella. Okay, let's sing the letter sound song that we sing for all the letters. It goes like this. You says uh, you says uh, every letter makes a sound. You says uh, okay, let's do it again. You says uh, you says uh, every letter makes a sound. You says uh, okay. You can also look that one up on YouTube. Um, oh, I wrote down what it's called. I usually just look up letter sound song and pick the one I like, but it's specifically Letter Sounds YouTube by Ari Ariel Natividad. Okay, Letter Sounds YouTube by Ariel Natividad. Um, so you can look up Miss You on YouTube in two ways, right? You can look her up and hear her song about her unusual umbrella. You can also go on and hear all of the letters with Letter Sounds YouTube by Ariel Natividad. Okay, um, after we meet the letter person, we listen to her song, we go to LMR. I hope you have good places to play. I'm, I'm missing some of the fun places I get to go. Um, and then we come back and we have centers and we absolutely always make the new letter out of Play-Doh so you can do that today. And then we usually build it with sticks and with magnets. And we try writing it on our magnet boards. So you can build yours with blocks or whatever you happen to have at home. You need two straight things and a curve. Or you could make it with lots of little tiny toys and go right along the whole shape. We do that sometimes too, don't we? So those are all things we usually do on Monday. Um, and it looks like we're running out of time. Did I mention everything I wanted to? Pretty much. Um, here's the matte girl I drew on Friday. Remember I started out making matte man and then I added more details and I turned her in a, into a matte girl. I would love to see the people you're drawing. Can you draw matte man and matte girl anymore? Do you remember how to do it? I would love to see your pictures. You can watch my Friday video if you need to be reminded how to do it, or you can look up Matt Man by Handwriting Without Tears on YouTube. YouTube is a wonderful resource. It has lots of bad stuff too, and lots of really good stuff. So if a grown-up helps you find what you need, you can go on YouTube. Only if a grown-up helps you find what you need though, right? Okay, and I will have lots more stuff for you tomorrow and all week long. I love you, I miss you, I can't wait to see you on FaceTime or Zoom. Okay. Bye-bye.